ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय So today we are reading from Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th Canto, 1st Chapter, The Advent of Lord Krishna, Text 57. Please repeat. Kirti Mandam Pratamajam Kamsayam आनकतुंदबी अर्पयाम आशम प्रश्रेणम सहम अमृतात सॉरी अमृतात अतिविफलाह कीर्तिमंत प्रतमजम कंसायान कदुंदी अर्पयामास कृष्ण सोनृतति विख्लव कीर्तिमंद बै द नेम कीर्तिमान Pratama, Jam, the first born baby. Kamsaya, unto Kamsa, Anakatundvi, Vasudeva, Arpayama, Sir, delivered, Krishna, With great pain, Saha Ki Vasudeva Andrathat from from the breaking of uh, breaking of the promise or from fear of being a liar. Ati Bhikvalaha was very much disturbed, being afraid. Translation and proper by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. Vasudeva was very much disturbed by fear of becoming a liar by speaking, by breaking his promise. Thus, with great pain, he delivered his firstborn son named Kirtiman into the hands of Kamsa. Purport. In the Vedic system, as soon as a child is born, especially a male child, the father calls for learned brahmanas and according to the description of the child horoscope, the child is immediately given a name. This ceremony is called Namakarana. There are ten different samskaras or reformatory methods adopted in the system of Varnashrama Dharma and the name giving ceremony is one of them. Although Vasudeva's first son was, be, was to be delivered into the hands of Kamsa, the Namakarana ceremony was performed and thus the child was named Kirtiman. Such name or given immediately after birth. Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna 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 Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna 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 जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निधानंद श्री अद्वैत कदाधर श्रीवासादि गौर भक्त 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कीर्तिमंत प्रथम झम कंसायान कुंदी अर्पयामास कृष्ण सौंदता तति विफल in translation vasudeva was very much disturbed by fear of becoming a liar by breaking his promise thus with great pain he delivered his first born son named kirtiman into the hands of kamsa hare krishna so here you all know the was the background that uh, devaki and vasudeva put into the prison and then vasudeva was promised to give all his children to kamsa because kamsa is you know uh afraid that uh, the eighth son of devaki will kill me so he wanted to kill devaki immediately as soon as he heard that uh, asariri and immediately vasudeva start you know protect his wife uh, by speaking many wonderful things um and then kamsa was convinced now the first baby is born and there is male child and uh, is very really as in this verse says it is very painful for the couple you know to get child and then immediately you know you know that the child is going to be killed you have to give yourself the child to someone to kill is it's not ordinary thing it's very you know nowadays especially many couples are experiencing that after getting married many years they are not getting child and is so much pressure without you know after marriage if sansa say if putrahinam kriham sunyam that uh, there is no children then uh, that praha is a sunya is uh, that family is like sunya nothing so is so much pressure is there that people are so much eager to get the first child and is uh, so exciting for them to get the child and then without any difficulties is and then after getting the child if someone has to give up immediately his child is not small thing is really very painful and uh, more than that here uh, in this verse what i notice all the prabhupada is speaking about this samskaras um that vasudeva was very much disturbed by fear of becoming liar by breaking his promise that uh, this is possible only the person who is uh, in krishna consciousness who is really you know uh depend on the lord only for him this kind of feeling will come you know that oh if what to what will happen if i you know don't you know follow my words uh, if, if if i break my promise what will happen if i have to lie he is so much disturbed by thinking of it uh, so this as thinking maybe we'll discuss at this point that uh, how much is important uh, uh being truthful because of that he believed even though hansa was demoniac person because he believed vasudeva because of vasudeva will not lie he will 
follow his promise. So now, if a demonic person is believing someone's words, that then the person has more uh, he you know responsibility to um, not to break his promise. You know, he, you know he become therefore is he become disturbed. So, we all know that uh, the truthfulness is one of the four pillars of the religion. Right? It's Satyam, Savcham, Tapa, Karuna, these four pillars. So satyam is truthfulness. Uh, is a very important thing. So, the in the Sastras, is very much stressed that uh, one should be truthful, specifically if uh, if one has to develop the quality of a brahmana is one of the very important quality uh, satyam uh, being truthful so in the sastra many uh, incident we can see that uh, specifically in shrimad bhagavatam we can see that uh, uh, like yudhishthir maharaj you know Many other great personalities, they are glorified because they, they were speaking always the truth. They don't lie. It's a very important thing. Today, uh, in the, in our society, we see people, you know, speaking lies. They just like, you know, so freely they speak. They don't even think that it is something wrong. Huh? But actually, is a, is a very important thing uh, to follow. And in Bhagavatam, in the eighth canto, we see in the twentieth chapter, in the chapter summary, Shri Prabhupada writes in the related to the Bali Maharaj and Vamana Dev Lila. Shri Prabhupada writes because it is a duty of a householder to maintain the principles of religion, economic development, and sense gratification, Bali Maharaja thought it improper to withdraw his promise to the Brahmachari, to lie or fail to honor a promise given to a Brahmachari is never proper. For lying is the most sinful activity. Everyone should be afraid of the sinful reaction of lying. For Mother Earth cannot even bear the weight of a sinful liar. So, in the same chapter, in the fourth verse, uh, Balimara is saying that, that there, is not, there is nothing more sinful than the untruthfulness. Because of this, Mother Earth once said, I can bear any heavy thing except a person who is a liar. So, in the same words, uh, Parapad Srila Prabhupada is explaining that uh, in this earth, we, we see the, you know, the, here Mother Earth is saying that, you know, I can't bear the weight of the liar. So, Srila Prabhupada explained that in the earth there are so many great mountains, oceans, and heavy, heavy things are there. What is this? A liar is, you know, one person is, or two person or few person is nothing compared to it. But still, uh, Mother Earth is saying that can't bear that weight. Uh, so, but she feels very much overburdened when she carries even a one person who is a liar. It is said that in Kali Yuga, Lying is a common affair. Mayaiva Yaharikai. He quotes from uh, 12th canto Bhagavatam that uh, in Kali Yuga people, it's a prediction about Kali Yuga. It says that uh, Kali Yuga people just simply by cheating others, they think they, they can, you know, succeed their business and then, you know, make their life successful. So, 
Śrīla Prabhupāda continues, even in the most common dealings, people are accustomed to speaking so many lies. No one is free from the sinful reactions of speaking lies. Under the circumstances, one can just imagine how is his... Uh, under the circumstances, one can just imagine how this has overburdened the earth and indeed the entire universe. So this is the point that uh, uh, the whole world, uh, people taking it so easily because today the all these so-called leaders, they are just all the time they speaking lie and the people follow. Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, common people just follow uh, the so-called teachers in the school who are supposed to teach them not to lie. And they are the one who speaks all the lie. Prabhupada says that they are not teachers, they are cheaters. Because they teach like Man come from monkey, Darwin theory, uh, all these Big Bang theory, all these nonsense things they teach, which is not the truth, which is, they don't know this is not truth. Still they go and speak like the truth. They believe it. So, therefore, um, today the society, people are suffer so much because it's all simple reaction. They think I don't do anything wrong. Yeah? People they think, you know, but every moment, every small thing, people lie for every single small thing. Yeah? Even though it's not necessary, but still people lie so much. Yeah? They, they speak lie. Yeah? So, therefore, the suffering is there. Yeah? But in the Vedic society, uh, people have very good understanding about the, the power of being truthful. Specifically, uh, the Brahmanas, they have to speak the truth. They have, they cannot speak lie. Shri Prabhupada many times explained this point. They are on uh, initiation ceremony. Brahmin Diksha Prabhupada is going to give to some of his disciples. Before that, Prabhupada is speaking. He gives a short lecture. In that lecture, he says, See the symptoms of the person, uh, the how his character. Doesn't matter what is his background. Mm? Uh, you have to see mm, what are the symptoms. And he says that uh, if he is truthful, oh, then immediately you can, you know, consider him as a brahmana. If he is a liar, immediately he is in the place of panchama, less than the sutra. This is what Papa says. Huh? So, and also, uh, in another Bhagavad Gita lecture, Prabhupada says, Napi cha charo na satyam desha vidyate. And they do not know what is truth or what is truthfulness. Or in other words, everyone is liar. I have seen many big, big gentlemen or Many big, big gentlemen that for nothing they, they will speak lies. For nothing. Without any profit. They will speak so many lies. Na satyam teshu vidyate. To become truthful is one of the Brahminical qualifications. Satyam. That is required. But the asuras they don't care for. They will go on telling lies. Volumes of lies. They don't mind for it. These are the symptoms. So, 
this is what is happening now. Uh, the people just go on speaking lies. Uh, but uh, as I mentioned before, in the Ved in the Vedic society, people they have a very good understanding of the power of being truthful. Uh, and if you are truthful, you can, uh, you know, understand. Uh, like uh, in the famous incident, Prabhupada quotes from the Japala Upanishad, that Satyakam, the small boy, uh, he wants to join in the Gurukul. He came to Gautam Rishi and he asking, please accept me as your student. And then he, Gautam Rishi asked him, so what is your father's name? Who is your father? And he said, I don't know. I never seen my father. So go and ask your mother. And he went to ask mother. Mother said, I also don't know. I made servant and uh, did service in many places. So I don't know also who is your father. And he come back and he told that my mother also don't know. So he spoke the truth. Generally, in this case, if you see that if you don't know who is your father, most of the people will just hide, you know. They will not say that uh, my father is somewhere else and he's working there, this, that. You know, something they will say. They will not say that I don't know who is my father. Because it's very shameful. It's, it's not, you know, great thing to say. They will think that, oh, if I speak the truth, what people will think. So, but this boy, he spoke the truth and Gautam Rishi accepted. Yes, he is qualified. He is a Brahmana. So, if you are truthful, you can get trained by the spiritual master and then you can learn about the absolute truth and then your life can become successful. You can get out of this material birth and death, uh, the cycle of birth and death. Otherwise, it's how you are going to, if you are a liar, then how you are going to learn anything from the spiritual master, anything from any authority, anything. Even the material knowledge, if you just go on lies, something, you know, you don't speak the truth, then even the material education, the teachers, they won't teach you. Of course, nowadays, because of money, the teachers, they don't care for it. They, 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 they For them, they, they have to get salary monthly and then, you know, doesn't matter whether boys are, you know, speaking lie or truth or they don't care for it. But previously it was not that. No? Even in my experience, I, uh, when I was in the school, you know, there's a one teacher, one particular teacher who was uh, teaching for a six standard students, Tamil, and uh, he was very respected person in a whole village. And if anything, any boys, any naughty things they do, they, if any mischievous things they do, and they will, <laughs> and the parents will go to that particular teacher and they will complain to him and then he will, you know, be heavy, you know, he will beat them like anything, then <laughs> the boys will become <laughs> uh, normal. And uh, if anybody, you know, speak any lie and they they have to think twice, thrice before speaking lie in the school. Like many times the boys they will speak lie to take a leave from the school, you know. I have this problem, that problem, relatives dying or this, that, something there. But later anyway it will come to know. <laughs> The teacher will inquire, you know, what happened, why he did not come. Immediately, yeah, they will get heavy punishment. So, the teacher used to teach 
to speak the truth. Huh? But nowadays, this is it's not even expected from the teacher. Hmm? So therefore, people they don't care for it. You know? People also common people take it so easily. Uh, so, and also we see in the past, in the uh, uh, particularly if uh, anybody, uh, uh, Prabhupada also many time in the lectures he says that uh, people will uh, come and promise something in the front of the deity. If it, you know they have to promise. They will come in the temple and the front of the deity they will promise. Uh, then they will, you know, accept. Like, uh, I have experience in my village, there was one thief. He came and, uh, you know, stolen something from some house, uh, some watch, some cycle, like this, some things he stolen. And one time happened, second time happened, third time, somehow they could not catch him. And then one time they caught him. And then they beat him heavily. And then still they don't want allow him in the village at all. They they just want to, you know, not allow in the village to come at all. And then others they were discussing. Then finally they told, okay, let him come in the front of. You know, the Mariaman temple was there at the end of temple and, you know, put the comfort and promise that he will not lie, like he will not steal anymore. So then, so that much people believed that if somebody promised something in the front of the deity, then they will not break the promise. So that was the belief and that was the result was there. People, you know, they, they seen, they experienced it, that, you know, being a truthful is, is very important thing. So, now, you know, when we preach all these things, like one time, I think in somewhere in Karur or somewhere, I was speaking this topic, then one person asked the question, oh, you are speaking that we should not speak lie, we should be truthful, this, that. But uh, we see in the Shastra and Mahabharata that Krishna himself is speaking lie. He also speaking, uh, he is telling to Yudhishthira to speak lie. Yeah. Then how do we understand? Of course, these are, you know, we understand the people who are in ignorant because they don't understand who is Krishna. Krishna doesn't have to speak lie at all. <laughs> Why? What he needs to speak lie? <laughs> Whatever he speaks, that's the truth actually. <laughs> so, but uh, we see if that is truth, if Krishna speaks lie, uh, then why all these great personalities like Ramanacharya, Madhvacharya, Shri Prabhupada and all these great Acharyas, they accepted him as a supreme authority. And they always stress to follow his instruction. So, we understand that uh, even though he is apparently looks like a Krishna is speaking lie or he is instructing to you this to speak lie. But ultimately we understand this is uh, this is the fact that that's the truthful uh, because Krishna has some purpose that we may not understand what is his purpose, why he is doing that. Uh, but Acharya sir, they explain uh, like when People accuse Krishna that uh, because of that, Yudhishthira Maharaj's chariot came down. Otherwise, he was, you know, going above the ground. Uh, but our Acharya Sari explained, no, this was not the reason. The reason that Yudhishthira Maharaj was hesitating for a second. Uh, I never spoke like, 
why so to speak like uh, now krishna is uh, advising so what should i do so he was uh, just the moment he was hesitating therefore the chariot came down so the point is that uh, acharyas they accepted krishna is a supreme authority and the general principle that you know we should not speak lie we should be the truthful and uh, there are many places krishna promising uh, like prabhu says in, in one lecture in bhagavatam lecture the magic will be done by krishna not by me or you he will do it just like a small child nobody can hurt him the father will take care he does not know he is simply depending on father my father mother that's all krishna says that you surrender unto me i give you protection he is not a liar he is not inefficient he is strong he is sufficiently opulent he can do that and we see it's, it, you know proper says here he is not liar he is you know he is strong he is sufficient opulent in everything and we see practically people who takes shelter of krishna's lotus feet and they are protected there are so many all the great devotees like a prahlad pandavas all this great personality we see they they were protected they were you know seeking all the time shelter of krishna's lotus feet they no one is complaining that krishna is lying he is not protecting no great devotee say <laughs> all of them they just all the time saying he is the protector he is the one who takes care of everyone that's a fact even people who don't believe they also maintained by krishna only nityo nityanam chetana chetananam eko bahunam yo vidyathadikam krishna is the only person who maintains everyone and why he will not maintain or protect his devotee who is following his instruction so that we should understand huh? so now there are some exceptional situation is there some places allowed like in bhagavad gita krishna explaining about following the duty prescribed duty for every like uh, brahmanas has to sacrifice the animals in the yagya kshatriya has to kill so many people in the war uh, the vaishyas they have to lie in the business all these things looks like apparently is a fault is there yes it is a fault it is you know reaction is there for all these things but doesn't mean that you have to give up your duty like vaishyas are not advised to oh, oh i don't want to speak lie so i will not do my duty no it's not it's a, it, because it's exceptional it's, it's your duty huh? but not general principle that uh, anyone for anything for a, everywhere you can just speak lie huh? it's not allowed of course for uh, vaishyas also uh is allowed for a certain you know amount for there is some should be you know some reasonable amount he can keep profit he can say that there is no profit i give you for just for cost price like many time we have experience <laughs> especially if you go to some non person oh he knows us for long time and they just <laughs> take more money than <laughs> unknown person <laughs> most of the time is happen <laughs> because they think we will believe it when they say that you know i i just give you for cost price or 
our wholesale price is that. But actually, they lie because that is their duty. But of course, now, you know, like they buy for 10 rupees and they sell for 100 rupees. That's too much. That is not allowed. You know? That's not a vicious dharma. So, the thing is, there are some exceptions. There are some place, like, may appear like, Speaking like, like Yudhishthir spoke, uh, uh, or that t- famous incident, another incident that uh, Brahmana who take a vow that uh, I will speak only the truth. And then there was a merchant who was carrying after his business, uh, he was carrying big money and uh, he was going to his place and then there are two, you know, thieves, they were chasing him and then the merchant came and the, the, he asked, please give me some shelter, I want to hide somewhere from this thief. And then he said, okay, go and hide in my head. <laughs> and then uh, the thief came and then the, he, they asked, where is this person, you know. <laughs> and they, he, he said, oh, they, he is hiding here. <laughs> because he thought that the speaking truth is very important thing. Yes, it is important thing, but not in the cost of, you know, killing a person or, you know, one's life. Saving life is more important. So, in that case, if he lies, that is the truth, actually. Because the saving life is more important than, you know, following the wall that, you know, I have to speak truth. So, there are some exceptional places, like uh, our authority. If she says, then we have to, like, when Krishna says, Yudhishthira has to speak. There, there is no question. Uh, so, that understanding we should have. But, unless it comes from the our authority, superior authority, we should not just speak life for ourselves. Shri Prabhupada explains in the Rome conversation. Uh, uh, yes, our position is how to satisfy Krishna, not for personal self. Ordinary world activities serving Krishna and the result of such service is the same. In the material world, in the material world, doing something and the result of doing is a different. Our means, our means, aim are the same. Just like Krishna advised Yudhishthira to, to speak lie to Dronacharya, it is a means. So, because Sri Prabhupada is explaining, he is advising, means Krishna is advising Yudhishthira Maharaj to speak lie. It is practically opposite from religious principles, but Krishna wants it. We must do it. Never mind. There is no such consideration. There is Krishna consciousness. So, in such case, we may, you know, speak lie. That's not lie, actually, because the, our authority says. Like, sometimes, in another case, Prabhupada explains also this, uh, even Kshatriyas, because they have to be diplomat, they are politicians, they have to speak sometimes like, but not like today politicians, all the time just speaking lie only. <laughs> not the, no, they are not at all truthful. That's not. So, these are very important points, and in a practical, in our practical life, also, we have to take it as very serious thing, like uh, in our sadhana, following regulative principles, all these things, it, sometimes it may appear oh, a small thing, what is this? Uh, doesn't matter, uh, it's not so 
big thing. We may think like that, but actually, like for example, Prabhu Chandra Prabhu lecture he explained, like, like if we put every day in our body, you know, tilak in twelve places. Uh, honestly, we, uh, you know, think how many of us all twelve places put tilak like in the forehead, uh, very nicely, you know, very properly, uh, not or chanting mantra while putting tea like Keshava and Narayana. Many times we just uh, one tea like the forehead with mirror nicely. <laughs> uh, sometimes I heard some guru coolies they do, you know, take so much time to push one tea like. <laughs> But not all the places. We think, ah, that's not so important. Or sometimes I heard one devotee say that, ah, oh, Prabhu, in the train when we travel, when the Ava Mayapur, when we go, you know, we don't take bath after, you know, going to the toilet. So sometimes it can be like, you know, that, no, that's was, that's not the, you know, we supposed to do. Because there is no facility, there is no opportunity to take, be clean, you know, you have to. There is no way. But when you are in the home, when you are in the ashram, you have to. You cannot, you know, ah, when, when we are there in the train, then, that, that time we are like that. So here also we can, not like that. Every small thing we have to follow. Like after sleeping, clean the place where you slept. Small, small things. It may appear like others may not know when we, you know, not doing these things. Others may not know. Like even chanting also. Who is checking our chanting, whether every day we are chanting 16 rounds or not? Nobody is checking. So, we may just pretend like a chanting. This one incident, I remember, there was one, one time somebody was chanting and he was going and just hit his japa back and the bag came like this over the hand. Then he realized in the bag nothing is there, there is no beads. <laughs> he was just holding empty bag. <laughs> I'm showing like, oh, chanting, you know, <laughs> it's serious, you know. So, this kind of things, you know, many, many things we may ignore it. But actually this is all, we are not truthful friend of others. We, we want to do this, all these things to show friend of others, you know, that I'm also devotee, I'm also practicing, I'm also doing my sadhana, I'm also doing all the, following the regulative principles, everything. We may pretend like a devotee, but actually we are not a devotee like that if we are not truthful. Because in this case, we may, if, because we do this kind of small, small uh, things we ignore or, you know, we neglect to follow, then Ultimately, one day we will give up chanting, one day we will give up reading, one day we will give up everything. Because that's where it leads to. Because when you don't follow it, like Mukunda Datta Prabhu explained very nicely, that by how you get enthusiasm? Uh, because by following the rules and regulations, uh, by following our sadhana very strictly, Automatically you become enthusiastic. You cannot be not enthusiastic by following. <laughs> if you are every day coming on time for Mangalarati, if you are every day for chanting or rounds, reading Prabhupada books, hearing lectures and all the things, whatever Prabhupada is recommended to us, if you follow, 
Uh, you cannot be without enthusiasm, without, you know, inspiring for the more service. There is no way. But because we have some material desire, we have some other thing. So we skip some things. Uh, sleep more time. Then there is no time for putting nicely tilak all twelve places. Uh, hurry, hurry, we have to run for Mangalarati because getting late. So, when we are in lower modes, when we are in, with material desire, we are hankering for something else, spending time in the mobile phone, watching Facebook, Instagram, Reels, so much, so many things. If we addicted to all these things, then we have no time to follow, then small thing, ah, uh, we just, because we spend time in that, we have no time to follow the, clean the room, clean the place, clean the plate, you know, all these things, we don't want to keep it, it just become tamaguna, you know, lower conscious. And then is, there is no enthusiasm, there is no advancement in Krishna consciousness. So, being truthful, you know, a uh, friend of other devotees, being truthful means, you know, like devotees and friend of Lord is not different. If we are not truthful, then, then one day it will reflect when <laughs> friend of our Guru Maharaj also we will lie, <laughs> we will pretend as a devotee, then there is no connection. If you are lying, if you are not following the you know, rules and regulation, if you are not uh, following our sadhana, friend of Guru Maharaj, we may appear like I am doing this service, this, this, that, great thing, but actually we are just pretending friend of Guru, means we are not truthful friend of him, that means we have no connection, we are not connected to the parampara. So, it's a very important thing, it's, it may appear like we discussed a small, small thing, but that will lead to the ultimately, you know, completely push us from, away from Krishna conscious. So, we have to be very careful, we have to very sincerely uh, follow all these small, small things, uh, all the cleanliness, all the um, sadhana, everything, we have to be very serious. That is truthfulness. Srila Prabhupada so many times says that this movement to create the brahmanas, brahmana means satyam, truthfulness, is very important thing. Because of this lacking, following these things, the uh, slowly, after some time, one thing we don't follow, second thing, third thing, like this, after so many things we don't follow it, then we don't feel something is wrong. Like, you know, for Vasudeva, you know, to, he's not even speaking lie, but still, what will happen if I, do, if I don't follow my promise? He is already feeling so much disturbed, without even speaking the lie, without breaking his promise. He is just thinking of that, what will happen. You know, he is so much disturbed. And we are not disturbed because so much lie, so much uh, pretending like uh, truthful, but, uh, and we are not disturbed, that means we are already very much in lower modes, we are very much in Tamaguna, we don't even realize it, what is, how much is serious thing. So, better, you know, as much as possible, we try our best, then once we become serious, then automatically we get inspired and do more enthusiastically, more nicely, every small thing. Like, you, you see our Guru Maharaj or any senior devotee who is serious, they they do every small thing, you know, 
try to do the perfectly, the full, uh, not that hodge post. <laughs> uh, something you do, something just, uh, uh, no problem, you will just leave it like that. Not like that. So then, if you are in that conscious, like everything, whatever we have to do, we have to do fully, uh, with full surrender, uh, with full Krishna conscious, then definitely we will inspire, definitely we will advance in Krishna conscious, other devotees will inspire, they will like to associate with us. Otherwise, if we are not enthusiastic, we are not following, then naturally the senior, the serious devotees, they will not associate with us. Uh, they will see that this person is not serious, he is not so strictly following. So they will not associate. They are so kind, they are, even though they know, they speak to you, they try to inspire you, but, but not really, they will give their association to you, like, if you follow, you know, if you follow, then they will really like to associate with you, they will give their association. So, I thought, uh, say a few words about this, being truthful, or not speak lie, these few points. I stop here. Is there any question or comment? Yes. Hare Krishna. Durlabam Manushan Janmam Soldinya. Mani Danak Nal Pure Badi Bhakti Soldinya. Ana Dharma Takade Badi Kena Bhuma Devi Ongala Soma Kamata Nal Soldinya. Jepadi Abhinna. நீங்க சரிதா ஆனா நீங்க சரி இல்ல ஆனா உங்களுக்கு நாங்க ஏன் பேயதுக்கு மாட்டோம் இது எந்த வகையில நியாயம் என்ன கேக்குறீங்க திருப்பி சொல்லுங்க மனுஷ வாழ்க்கை दुर्लभமானது அதுன்னு சொல்றீங்க ஓகே ஆனா மனுஷனுக்கு நாலு குறைபாடு இருக்குன்னு சொல்றீங்க சரி அந்த குறைபாடுகள் இருக்கிற பட்சத்துல Thai, Bumi Thai, Ungla Sumaka Matanga, and the Purpay to Matanga. For a part, it recumbs at the lake real. Namadarmata, Miram Pachatle. Enna. For a part, it recumbs at the Kaga, Nam, a pretty recumbent rather Namaku, in a Parino Rekapale. Namaking Enna Salapade, Namakita, for a part, it recumbs the Lirande, Vidupat Rathaka Valley, and named Rathanga. நாம் and the Nelik Varano of Dina, Apo, Vidimoregala, and my pin button. Unmaya Rukuno. Unmaya ill poi pacer on na, Apanama and the Vidimore Miro. Apanama on the Bumiki Paramagra. Rida Krishna or Lapatam, Kamuga Telapatam, Dina, like. Bakar Gulon, the Arab, and the Unglade, Walke, and the Mulun Erma, and the Christian at a severe Yid Burno of Dinsoli, Asa Burranga. So, parents and the Lok Sadagama Irkamatanga, Ungloka, the Muketun, Tiria, the Amirta Solar, the Kumir Chipano. So, under the Selavati on the Unglade, Madam Mandurumba Punbudam, Vindirko, upon Sela Puigal Sola Kuria Tarnungal. Okay, just happened. The question is that uh, the now we discuss many points about speaking the truth, and then uh, if we when we practice Krishna consciousness, we become inspired to become a 
full time devotee then parents subjects and uh, then that time we have to lie to parents that is a question uh, what to do that time so i told you can speak a lot of lies that for that <laughs> because you are inspired for krishna conscious uh when you want to serve krishna you want to surrender to krishna when any anybody comes uh, you know put obstacles you can just ignore even you can just you know give up your parents doesn't matter because in that way you are going to benefit them of course you have to be serious to take krishna consciousness not that you just in the name of krishna conscious you know give up your responsibility you don't want to work you don't want to take care of your parents or you don't want to take responsibility of family life so you just to you know escape from that you know you cannot do that but if you are really serious if you really want to you know serve krishna surrender to krishna you, you can give up krishna says sarva dharma parityajo serving parents is one of the dharma so krishna says sarva dharma to surrender to krishna you give up even serving parents many of us here like that we given up our service to parents because by serving krishna we really serving them being with them and serving is not really service to them that is service only to their body but their body is not they are they are the within the body they are the soul they are also servant of krishna so when we serve krishna then everyone is satisfied so like pouring the water in the root of the tree is nourishes all the parts of the tree not only the root only so serving krishna means serving everyone that's the real so many time proper say the krishna conscious is the only the best social service the best the, the service which you can do that is krishna conscious service that is allowed <laughs> i lie to my parents <laughs>